All right, guys, I'm going to try this one more time. I apologize if you popped on a second ago and you saw me live. I'm having connection issues today, so I'm not too sure what's about that, but um, Dion here with TheTurquoiseIris.com. If you're here, please say hello, because earlier I was just talking to myself um, for a few minutes. So I said I'd be doing 30 days and 30, li 30 lives in 30 days, but here I am, and I'm doing um, 31 lives in 32 days. So um, it's just kind of last minute, but Kawita and I thought we would pop on here because we have both of our pieces ready to um, do the finishing touch. So um, I'm going to be waxing mine. Oh, good. Your people are there. Thank you. Better connection this time. I don't know. I went and rebooted the router. You know, you just... You just never know with this live stuff. So, hey guys, thank you for saying hey and the, for the thumbs up. So, this is the piece that I was working on Friday night. Happy New Year to you, Angela. Hope you're getting some rest and feeling better. Uh, it's going to be a good week. I just know it. Um, so, uh, if you will remember or if you saw our live, or even if you didn't, I had Kawita Allen on here with me Friday night and... Um, we were working on two different pieces in two different colors, but we let you guys pick the colors that we used next. So we both started with Old School from Debbie's Design Diary. It's the clay-based paint that we like, both like to use. Um, oh, negative 16 in Iowa. Hey. See, I, it's hard to complain about the weather here in Oklahoma when I see that. Um, all right. Hey, Q. So we, we both started our pieces with Old School. And then we let you guys choose which colors were going to come next. And the next color that I used was Hey Sailor, which is this navy color, and then Mermaid Tail, which is more of this lighter blue, and then Kissing Booth. I added just a little bit of gold and a little bit of um, Queen Bee here, and it looks like green. So those are some colors I added afterwards. Um, and then Kawita will tell you a little bit about the colors that she is that she used. But we had you guys help us choose. So that was fun. And we were both ready to add our finishing touch on here. So we just thought, well, why not just go live? Everybody's at home watching football, right? You two are so funny. You made my night. Kim, thank you so much. That's awesome. Thank you for the, the thumbs up and the shares that you guys always do for us. And um, the other thing I was going to mention was we both used our Iron Orchid. Uh, our clay molds um, and we added uh, Kawita added clocks to hers and then I added this little floral design right here too so those are iron orchid um, if you guys have any interest or questions please holler I'm gonna pull Kawita up here but I did want to make a quick announcement I just released this morning tickets to my first online class so it'll be a three to four hour interactive online class where I start a piece of furniture start to finish um, I will have someone here with me who will be reading the questions. We'll take a little break. You can paint during it or you can um, just sit and watch the first time. You'll have two full weeks to go back and watch the class. So I'll set us all up in a separate group on Facebook. Um, but I'm really excited about that. It's going to be on January 27th. So I have people from Sweden and um, yes, it's the gold patina. Yes, ma'am, Amber. Um, I have people from Sweden and Australia, lots of people from Australia, and they want to take a class or they want to know about the paints. So I just thought, gosh, I'm just going to do it. So we're going to give it a shot. It's January 27th. The tickets are available now uh, at theturquoiseiris.com. Like I said, it's a three to four hour class. It'll be interactive. It's online and you'll have, you don't have to be there live to watch the class because I'll have it up for two weeks for you to go back and watch again or stop and start however you want to do it. But the first class will be on the 27th from like three to four hours. And um, I'm excited. So go check it out if you're interested in an online class. So, okay. We've got about 100 on here today. And so we're going to get some waxing going. But i got to get Miss Q up here, don't I? So Q, I'm coming at you, sister. And we'll have Q up here in just a second. Yes, girl. Hi. Hi. Hold on. I'm going to move this back a little bit. I'm going to move it back a little bit. Okay. I broke my tripod today. No, you didn't. I, yeah, I did. Okay. Hold on. I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't have a chance to, to adjust anything, so maybe you can see my...
my, my face a little bit. Okay, Let's see where I'm at. I just didn't want to scooch down, but I guess I'm at a half case. Okay. Hi, guys. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. How's it going? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can. I can. Okay. Okay, awesome. Let's see that gorgeous piece that you have behind you. Hey, did you add some gold too? Well, of course. Me too. I, I like, I've always, I guess ever since I started, I always like the metallic. So, yeah, I like to add a little shine to it. Yeah, yours looks really pretty. Yours is a lot lighter. I think mine's going to come out darker. Do you think so? Because in, in this picture, yours looks a lot lighter than mine. I don't know. We'll find out when we stage it, right? I don't right. know. Right. I know it's like a surprise. Everybody's saying Happy New Year. So just Happy New Year to everybody. Happy New Year. Um, will you remind us what colors you were using the other night? Because I knew sea glass, but I couldn't remember after that. Okay, sure. Okay, so the base we started off old school, which you already went over, I think. And then I added a little tiny bit of Kissing Booth, which is our pink. Okay. And then I added a little touch of the Queen Bee, which oh. is a really golden yellow. And then the sea glass, it's a blue. It's a really pretty um, blue. Then, yeah, I added a little bit of the green. Uh, this is Fancy Farm Girl, so I added that. And then a little touch of the vintage linen. And oh. then also some bohemian blue. Apparently, oh. I just went crazy. I know, and then the IOD molds from Puma Marketing. I went ahead and I'll just remind everybody, I used this one, and then I used the clock, and I didn't have any hardware here, so when I put them on soft, um, I was able to go ahead and, and puncture a hole through it. And look, they didn't step, they didn't fall off or anything. They're on there, and we used wood glue to attach them. Just a little bit and rub it with your finger, because if you put too much, it's bad. But also, the product, Mine's all torn up now, but um, it's paper clay. <laughs> it's a mess. Anyway, um, make sure you put it tight in a baggie when you get done with it so it stays soft. But um, I like the paper clay, but gosh, I'm so mad at myself. I was going to bring out the one that I did with a resin pour, but I'd have to run all the way to the back of the shop, so I won't go back and get that. But you can actually add color to that and, and pour that into your silicone mold. I do. I did see a no-no, so let's just say that. Okay, on your silicone molds, I did see where someone actually used like that silicone caulk yeah. in this. They ruined their molds. Oh no! Yeah, because it won't come out. But the resin comes out great. The paper clay comes out great. I mean, I think your kids could play with these. Oh, you I know, mean, and, and, and thing, like with silly putty, even right. Yeah, with silly play or play doh or yeah. any homemade play doh, I think that the kids would love these, especially the little girls. You can make. Debbie did a great video. Debbie's DIY. She did a great video with those ornaments and that wreath. She made a beautiful okay. wreath, so y'all need to go check that out too. So, yeah. So, are you gonna use clear wax or dark wax or what are you using? Well, I was gonna say that even though mine didn't slide down, you know, I used the same kind of glue that you had instead of wood glue. Um, mine cracked because I started painting it beforehand, and so oh. it cracked, which doesn't bother me. No, um, me either. I love that it cracked because I think it looks authentic and aged, but some people may not like that. But since we started painting it and it was still wet, um, mm -hmm. it cracked in two different areas, but I personally am, like, happy that it cracked. So, yeah. anyway. So, I like that, too. I was also going to say, too, I was going to show everybody something real quick. So on your IOD molds, if you want to um, make it aged even more so, get you some sandpaper. Um, I just stole this off of my sander. But um, just some sandpaper, 220 is fine. And then just sand it, and then it will age it some more. It's almost like, feels like concrete now. Yeah, it does. It's awesome. So you, can, you can also sand that too, and then add some more color if you want to, or whatever you like. Okay, girl. Um, okay. Did you ever pick a winner for the beanie? I did. Her name was Krista Bell. You've won awesome. the beanie. And what yes. was the comment? I don't remember. I knew you were going to ask me that. You just put me right there on the spot. I knew it. I knew it. I'm sorry. Your husband. I, I don't. 
your husband said if we would just tell you, I don't remember what he said. What did he say? He said if we if we tell Q something something, she'll she'll pick you. I don't remember what he said though. Probably that I'm young. That I would be. That would probably be it. That I'm young. So yeah, that. He made me that's... giggle also because he told you you better put that lid back on his glue when you were. Yeah, and you know what I told him too. I said I didn't. So, but it works just fine. And if it doesn't, guess what? I'll go buy another bottle. I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You don't mess with this creativity we've got going on, right? Nah, don't sweat the small stuff. That's right. Okay. What are you okay, doing well, today? That's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use black and a few areas along the bottom and the top, and then I'm gonna use clear over the rest of it. Okay. I'm gonna play with my clear. And then see how I feel about it. Okay. And then if I don't care for it, then I'll maybe add something else. But right now, I'm going to see what, what, what pops. Because it's looking kind of dark back here to me. And I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay. Well, I'm going to okay. start with black then. Okay. And so the brush that um, – now, I use I use a rag sometimes when I'm waxing. I don't always use a brush. Okay. Um, my hands get so tired from working, um, painting so, so much. That sometimes I just get tired of the brush being in my hand. Not that they're bad brushes or anything like that. It's sure. just I, I use a rag. So I am going to use a brush today. I don't know where I got the brush. I don't know what the name of the brush is. But I do know that um, Pixie, <laughs> Pixie Paints has a beautiful brush that I can't wait to use. But I'm not going to bust it. I'm not busting it out yet. Oh, one's upside down. I'm not going to bust this baby out yet because I'm just going to use the one I've already got. Okay. Because it's already got some dark on it. I'll probably use that for some, except for I don't get it dirty. Okay, I have a question for you, Dion. Okay. How do we how do we clean these? How do you get okay. your wax out? Okay, well, I do get asked that all the time, and I don't know the best way. But every time I'm done using it, I go to, like, a terry cloth towel, and I just go like this and clean it all in every direction for a little while. I don't put any water or anything on it. Okay. I've heard a couple of things. But... Okay. So we need Josie, maybe Josie with the Pixie paintbrush. Maybe if Josie's watching or can comment later, maybe she can actually give us the proper instructions. Well, she Right. Here's what she told me to do. <laughs> okay. So she, she told me to use um, charcoal soap. Like, oh, I, um, the black bar that you can get yes. called Gender Bender. Um, yes. Anyway, she even shipped me some. <laughs> oh, yes. So, I love char charcoal soaps. Great. Yes. Mineral spirits and Murphy's oil soap. All of those things probably work wonderful, except that for some reason, I can't get it in my head that my wax brush should be wet. Like, I don't want any moisture on it. Yeah, see, so, I don't really. Yeah, I don't they're either. All saying, See, they're all saying to use soap, Murphy's oil soap. Um, is that not good? No, I think it's wonderful for your brush. You keep doing what's working for you. In my right. head, even though I just don't want any moisture on my wax brush. I don't know what it is. I just... Um, and I don't wax a lot, to be honest. You don't yeah. you use a stain or a... a I, I use it, but I use... I, I'm not trying to go against the wax in any way, but a lot of times I use a little bit... I use general finishes. Um, I actually use their um, high endurance. Um, yeah, I like their high endurance because I... I mean, my pieces are, a lot of times have really need to have really durable tops and such like that. I'm not saying the wax is not, but you do tend to have to re-wax with some waxes. And I'm not sure, Miss Debbie can probably answer that question too, is about how durable do you have to re-wax and such. I know the more you buff it, the shinier it gets. I know that much. So I'm learning as much about waxes as everybody else. So yeah, absolutely. Well, so I that y'all can learn with this. Black yeah, okay. So I'm using the last little bit of my clear wax. I'm going to use, use it from the can. Normally, okay. I take it out of the can and put it in a paper plate. And um, I don't want a whole lot of wax. You can over wax. Don't over wax. Okay? So if you get wax, like if you got a big block like this, that's going to get too much. And it's going to leave this really goopy, sticky film, and you don't want that. So you want a thin coat. Okay. You take that down. So this color is where I'm going to start, but it's going to change. It's going to make it a little darker, but it's going to dry a little lighter. Okay. And I'm going to 
Yeah, because a lot of people get kind of scared when they see this going darker. And it'll go back a little lighter when it's, um, with the clear wax, that is. Yeah, the wax can get a little frightening at first when you put it on. Because it does change the color, but it goes back to mostly normal. Mostly. It, it, it does, um, it, it brings out the rich pigment in Debbie's paint, which I really like. Yes, absolutely. I hope she's getting all moved today, Miss Debbie. Thinking about you. Yeah. I think she If I was if I was close, if we were closer, Dion, we have to go help her. I know. Hopefully she's got some help moving. That's never fun to do, but at least she's not in the cold weather moving. Now she's lucky. It's too my honey's cold. I'm wearing like eighteen layers of clothes. I am not used to this stuff. I can't even move. It's like you like waddle when you walk because you got too I know. much on. I know. When we I went to the grocery store this morning and about froze to death in there. I think it was colder in this grocery store than outside. Probably so. I hate that. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do one, I'm gonna do them on one one side so people can kind of see what's happening with it as it's changing color. Okay. I'm gonna do that too. And so, y'all, I just kind of go in a circle to get in the grooves. I'm not sure if there's a right way or a wrong way. I've never taken a paint class um, or, art, or art classes or anything like that. So, I probably should just because, I, you know, I don't know everything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, you know, and um, I don't know. Maybe I should take a paint class. That would be kind of fun. Oh, that would be kind of fun, but I've never had a paint class either. People always ask me that, you know, like where where did you learn how to paint and all that good stuff? And I I taught I'm just self taught, I guess. Um, kind of about everything I do, I'm, I teach myself because, and I don't know, I think it's the best way. I think it's the best way to learn, and I just say that I've made a really a lot of ugly 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 pieces. <laughs> me too. <laughs> And I love the people, I love those people that even bought them. <laughs> I love them a lot, too. I want to thank them for my beginning. <laughs> no kidding. No kidding. Okay. I feel like this black might be a little harsh. Is it hard? It's a little, it's a little dark. So how do you, how, do you ever, like when you, after you've waxed, do you ever, and like you say, okay, I don't really, like I'm not digging this area or something like that. Do you come back over and paint it after you, after it dries and touch it to where you want it to be, like adjust? I have before, yes. Yeah, I certainly have. This may be okay. It's just so hard to tell right now while it's so dark. Yeah. But I'm just trying to move really quickly and keep it blended really well. Yeah. You know, I love the shadows, and I like the dark areas, because I really did want a lot of deep navy in this piece, so. Yeah, um, mine's, mine's dark. It's dark. Yeah, I'm not sure if I want to add more um, blue to the center right now, or if I just kind of want to wait it out and let it dry tomorrow. But just kind of giving everybody an idea of what it's going to kind of turn into. And then up here on this corner, let's see if I can get a little closer. I really did break my tripod about five minutes ago. I am so sorry. Well, I'm so mad at myself. I just ran into the door because I can't walk, apparently. And uh, <laughs> I can't, I don't know. But I've got some lighter colors and some gold in on this. And then um, so a little bit of distressing. But I'll show you this side. This one's a little darker. And then this side here is a lot lighter. And so that one's the lighter side of the detail yeah. part. Yeah. And then it's get, it's getting darker. It's getting darker there. I'm a sucker for details like these. I just, anything that's curvy and curly, there's a little bit of a close-up. and Me too. The I, gold. Be, I love it. Yeah. I broke my, I broke the leg on my. On my new tripod. So I'm, now you got a bipod again? Yeah, I've gone back to a bipod, yep. Yeah, but, and I've got it all rigged, and it's not very pretty. Oh, no. Are you using the lamp? 
I may have to go back to the lamp, but I don't really like the lamp because it falls off and then I, <laughs> then I break my phone. So, yeah, I'm going to see if I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slide this and read some comments and see what everybody's saying. Okay, do you wax, then put general finishes high performance on it? That wouldn't mix. If I wax, I don't, if I'm going to use the general finishes, I don't wax. So that's just my preference. Um, if I use any other kind of sealants, I really don't do both. Okay. So I either do one or the other. Um, I just, I'm not, I'm not sure how that would react with one another. So, yeah. And then, you know, uh, General Finishes has a lot of really great water bases, too, that look amazing over um, every finish. So I'm, I'm a big fan. I have a couple of people that, I, you know, Paint companies I really love, so paint products. And I just kind of have certain things that I pick out of each line that I really utilize a lot. So, but right, when you're doing right. like the tops of, you know, I mean, if I'm doing dining room tables and stuff like that, I really prefer a high performance, um, really heavy duty top coat. And um, Debbie's big top's amazing, and I haven't had an opportunity to put that on one of my tables yet. So, when I can give that review, I will. <laughs> Yeah, no kidding. You only know. know what you use, right? Exactly. It's true. It's true. People ask lots of questions. Oh, my goodness. We got – so everybody watching football today, I guess? Oh, you play the four. I know. Go you. Yeah. What about a matte finish besides wax? Um, there's a couple of companies that have matte finishes. Um Actually, there's a flat out flat by General Finishes that's a very beautiful mat. Uh, yeah, it's amazing. So definitely. Yeah. So what are your, are your kids? Is the football is there football on all day long? Yes, it's been on since we got up this morning. Oh. And, uh, and then I guess the Clemson Alabama game is after the OU game. Oh, okay. Well, that's going to be a big game, too. Roll Tide. I see them Alabama fans coming across there. I'm not, like, yeah, I don't I don't have time to watch TV too much. The only thing I've really gotten hooked on while I've been taking – this is my vacation, by the way, sister. I know, girl. <laughs> I'm not even – You have to get out of your jammies and go in the cold. Ugh. Well, it's okay because um, the front part of my studio does have a, a little bit of heat, so I'm all right. I just can't bring my big work up here and, and work, but I can do my little stuff. But um, so I was at um, I was attempting to cook breakfast this morning because I don't cook a whole lot anymore. Well, let's see. I burnt the sausage. Oh shoot, girl! I burnt the I burnt the pancakes. I made pancakes too. You did. I, I burnt did. the pancakes. Almost burn them too. I, uh, yeah. So I burnt the paint of cakes and I'm like, oh. okay, I, I really just think I need to just not ever cook again. I can't do it. I suck. <laughs> 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 I need a housekeeper and I need a, I need a cook. And I need a cook. Oh, wait. And I need a cook that's going to make me skinnier. <laughs> you know, I always hear people say that when they stop cooking. It's like they, actually, oh. they, yeah, it's like we don't do it anymore, so we forget how. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, I mean, I'm well, never I would, very good, so it doesn't matter with me. Well, I have, my mama's really amazing cook, amazing cook. She taught me very young. Um, I can remember standing on a box, paint and cooking when I was, like, four. So, uh, I know. I knew how to cook some eggs when I was four. <laughs> wow. I know. I know. I know my mama. She can cook, but you know she doesn't cook as much anymore because we we're all so crazy busy in our lives that we aren't together as much. You know. Yes, I understand. My mama just cooks for us on Christmas morning. That's the only time of the year. Yeah. Well, I miss it because, man, my mama can cook. I mean, I you know I try to fry potatoes like she does, and they just don't come out. Not I mean I don't fry a lot of food. But, man, red beans and cornbread and potatoes, and I don't know why. It's just like a little magic when she does it. I don't know. I, love I don't it. know. I yeah, it. and, I mean, honestly, I'd rather paint. Me too. Somebody says I'd rather paint than cook. I think I think it's just because I don't, I don't cook as well as I used to cook, I think, because I'm not doing it. You know, I just – I work a lot, and, and, your baby and I eat out too much. Eat out way too much. 
Way too much. It's just easier, right? It is, but you know, you really get sick of it. Like I get so sick of it. It's like, oh, I don't even want to do any of that. So, okay, so I'm staring at my piece back here. And it's really way darker than I want it to be. So I am probably going to play with it a little bit. And then when I show it off, yes, okay. I'm going to show it off. I'm, it's probably going to look different. <laughs> you're going to keep on messing with it, aren't you, girl? Well, you know, I left it the other night and I didn't come back because I'm on vacation. I'm not, you know, really, I'm not doing anything on vacation. Um, my refrigerator flooded my entire kitchen, so it popped up half of my kitchen floor. I had to buy a refrigerator, and when I bought the refrigerator, I was pretty certain that it would fit through the, for, through the door. Oh, that was a challenge. It took two and a half hours just to put in a new fridge. Oh, no. So, Did you have to take then, the door off? Your oh, take the door off of that, the door off the refrigerator and squeeze it in the hole and it just has no space but it sure is pretty well, it's the prettiest ice box for tea you ever did see <laughs> as long as it keeps the sweet tea cold it's yep. all that matters as long as it keeps it cold girl it doesn't flood the floor of your kitchen again I know, and I'm telling you, and then the bathroom had a leak, and I'm just like, if one more thing leaks, one more, I'm going to lose it. Lose it, lose it, lose it. Did you ever get the water fixed there at your building? Did you say your are No, your I won't probably get that looked at till tomorrow now. Mm -mm. Okay. Yeah. I don't really well, need yeah. it. I'm okay. I keep bottles of water, big bottles of water anyway, so. Did you say but, waddles? Did you say waddles? Waddles of bottle, Yes. <laughs> To go I need to go back to the couch <laughs> you gotta go back to the couch your brain knows it hey I checked, out. I checked out last week mama okay uh, so I, I just want to say that this is a lot darker than what it's going to be when it dries yes because it looks like my colors are more um blended than they really are and so it's right. a lot of just a whole lot of navy and gold but I will of course stage it and photograph it in the next couple of days and I cannot wait to see yours too, Kawita, because I know it's going to be stunning. Um, will you make sure that when we get off of here, because I don't know if you always do this, will you make sure you, you link your Facebook page so we can all be following you? Yeah, let me wipe my nose. Excuse me a minute. My nose is running too. It's cold. <laughs> well, you're probably freezing in that garage, so you need to go in the house. I'll put my link on here and... We'll try to answer all the questions. I know that we had a ton, amazing amount of people commenting and playing with us, watching us paint Friday night. And I'm just answering as I can while I stop and stop watching Game of Thrones. You know, I got myself all messed up with that right now. So, uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, you know, all the... All the comments are just amazing yeah, and I fun. Think 30, I think we've had 3,500 comments. That's, on our that is incredible. So that's incredible. That's incredible. It's, it's really hard to get to everybody, but we really do try to get to everybody and answer the questions. But I know there's a, probably a ton that I have not got to or that Kuita hasn't got to, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't ask him. It doesn't mean you shouldn't go ahead and, and you know, interact and ask anything you need to. I was telling him... Um, earlier that I released my online class today. Oh, so tickets are available so for that. Yay! So, so excited. Yes, y'all sign up for that. It's going to be, I want to sign up for it. I mean, <laughs> yes! Yeah, I think I might. I think I might. All right. That I think I might. Do. Okay, so another thing is if they, uh, you know, if they have questions and stuff and we don't get to them right away, then just, you know, I try to message us. We'll do, I mean, I know I, I try to answer everybody, but I am on vacation. I really am trying to kind of back off a little bit from the studio. And I know that a couple of people have ordered some paint and stuff from me. I just, I'm there. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not at the studio. I'm at home or I'm with family or I'm not available. It's just, I will not officially be back in the studio till around the 6th. I'll be working and popping in, in and out, but I truly am trying to take some time off. It is entirely too cold and frigid. Paint won't dry. There's no sense in me being here. 
And, you know, my family gets neglected a lot during the year. So I'm trying to do that. So thank you for respecting all of that. And thank you for coming and watching us. And Dion, you've done great. 31 days, baby. We'll make, <laughs> we'll make it 60. Not really. Just kidding. Just totally kidding. Okay, girl, you get out of there. And um, we're dying to see that piece just whenever. No rush for you, baby. I'll let you know when it's done and we'll pop on it and go. So you just let me know when yours is done. And we love y'all. Thank you so much. Bye, Happy girl. New Year. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, guys. A couple of questions that have scrolled through here. Um, I have a creative connection on Facebook. For those of you who have just asked about, um, about starting your own business, I have a creative connection on Facebook, which is a membership site that you can join. Just go to the turquoisecyrus.com. It's a $26 monthly fee. Uh, there's about 155 of us in there right now, and it's a really super great group of women. Um, and Kawita is also a member of that as well. Um, secondly, someone also asked, how often do I hold classes? Um, I hold a local class at Reclaimed Warehouse, and I can, have, I can have about 20 to 30 women or men, I meant to say people, um, and my next class is January 20th. I have six tickets left, six spots. We've got 24 sold. I've got six left. You can also order that at the Um, I have an, my very first online class that I've just released tickets for today. You can find that also on the turquoiseiris.com. And it's a one-time class where it's interactive. You guys can paint along with me. I'll give you a membership site. I mean, I'll give you a membership, a materials list. Um, and you can paint along with me, or you can not even be there that day, but you can come back and watch it up to two weeks afterwards. You can play it back as many times as you want to. Um, so if you have any other questions, post them. And uh, Kawita and I will get these pieces posted in the next few days. But like I said, we're not going to rush Kawita, but I'll have mine done in the next couple of days. Um, I appreciate you guys being here. This was a total surprise for us to pop on here today. Um, but... We thought it might be fun to do waxing because we've been painting a lot, but we hardly ever do um, the discount or the the um, the waxing. Yes. Also, if you're in my creative, <clears throat> if you're in my creative connection already, uh, you will be paying half price for the online class. So that is something that I offer to my group as a treat, just for being in the group. Uh, so the class will be um, one ten for the three hour online class. If you're in my group, you'll get it half off. So that's how that works. So for those of you that are watching this that are in my group right now, um, don't go buy a regular ticket because I've got a discount code for you ladies, okay? Because you're awesome and I love you and um, that's how it goes. So um, you're welcome, Rebecca. Thank you for mentioning that. So I would tell everybody. I meant to say that. I appreciate you guys and boomer. That's all I have to say. Boomer. <laughs>